Hi everybody, this is Boaz Far and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for January 14th, 2016. Interesting day in the skies today. Still a lot of Piscean energy. The moon is in Pisces. It's conjuncting Chiron. This is a day in which we are sensitive, than, more sensitive than usual. We are very much in touch with everything on our insides. Well, like our pains, hurts, and, and places that we feel that we need more uh, encouragement and... and um, and gentleness with so in that aspect we really have to make sure that we react to our environments in a way that doesn't heighten drama or doesn't talk from places that in which we feel hurt inside we could feel very um, you know we could tear up today from seeing any uh, half exciting flick on YouTube and that's not necessarily bad other than that about 1700 hours Central European time, it's about 1000 hours Eastern Standard Time. Jupiter, I'm sorry, 1100 hours Eastern Standard Time. The moon is going to sit on the south node in front of Jupiter, sextiling uh, and trining the sun. I'm sorry, sextiling and trining with the sun and Mercury, sextiling and trining the nodes. And the sun and Mercury are doing something very special today. They are in Kazemi, what we call in traditional astrology Kazemi. Mercury is in retrograde and we have been feeling malfunctions in our communications in the last week and a half. But it is said that when any planet is close to the sun, it's being combusted by its light and it's losing its power. But when it sits in the heart of the sun, in exact conjunction, it takes on its light, its power and its strength and it brings this planet these qualities. In this case, Mercury, our planet of thoughts, words, communication, and um, really um, trade, whether it's intellectual or other, with everybody in our environments. So we could utilize this day to really take these subjects ahead. Our, our, our communication with our environments, uh, our trade with the environment, and everything we think and do today has special meaning that we should pay attention to. That's basically it. it. The moon does become void of course from about 1800 hours Central European time. That's about 1100 hours Eastern Standard Time after it sits on the nodes. So take care of the tactics and other strategic aspects of your life this evening. Thank you for listening. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.